the next weft join is fairly simple and straightforward. Um, we are going to use, it's called warp interlock, and so we're going to use one warp end and each pass wrap our uh, threads around that one warp end. So I'm going to start, and I've chosen this warp end, and I wrap, and then go back out. And then with my other bobbin, I'm going to go around that same warp end. Chain sheds. Go back out and you can see that that, that last one was a brown one and this is going to be the blue one. Again, a couple brown, meeting around that same warp end, and then the blue. You want to make sure that when you wrap around that warp end that they're nice and snug but not pulling. And so that is warp interlock. You can only do that for so long though because of the double thickness of the weft in this area, it will create a little bit of a peak. You can probably start to see that if I really compress this stuff down. And you can see that this part springs back a little bit. <laughs> 